Otto Donald Rogers is a Canadian artist who now lives in Israel. He is known to his friends and his associates as a superb artist and as a fascinating individual whose art is a reflection of deeply felt spiritual beliefs. Otto Rogers is a Baha'i. His home is in Haifa. Haifa and the prison city of Akka across the bay are dotted with institutions of the Baha'i faith. This is the world center. Here can be found the prison where the founder, Baha'u'llah, suffered. The shrines where he and his son, Abdul Baha, the interpreter of his writings, are buried. The buildings which house the institutions which Baha'u'llah ordained grace the slopes of Mount Carmel. Close by is the place where Otto and Barbara Rogers have made their home. Otto Rogers is weaving the principles and teachings of his faith into his life and into his work. The result is art which has attracted international attention. For Rogers, the process of art is best defined by four principles of learning identified in the Baha'i writings. Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, uh, came quite frequently after he eventually left the uh, prison in the prison city of Akka. And uh, he took great delight in this garden that uh, his eldest son, Abdu'l Baha, had prepared for him. It seems a very um, fitting place to speak about uh, how we acquire knowledge, uh, how we come to understand things uh, in the world, both through our profession, uh, in my case, of course, uh, being a painter, and uh, in general, how we, how we learn things. I think it's obvious to everyone that uh, one of the great gifts that we have are the senses. And we learn a great deal through, through the senses, uh, through the sight and hearing and the, the uh, power of touch.